My name is Josh Marcus. Um, I work for a company called Eventia. We are a GIS software development firm in Philadelphia. Um, I'm here to talk about a project called HunchLab. HunchLab is, a, is an early warning system that's currently deployed to detect spikes in crime activity, uh, geographic spikes. Um, so in general, what it does is it analyzes uh, a high volume database of events, so say crime all over Philadelphia um, or any area. It detects when and where something different, something unusual has happened. So the way to think about this is sort of like if you're looking for a, a disease outbreak, you're looking for where there's some unusual activity so that you can respond to it quickly. And then we send out email notification to the, whoever is responsible for responding with a link into a web-based analysis system. Um, while this is currently being deployed for crime, this is directly applicable to crisis mapping. And I think the way to think about it is that you could provide a tool to responders to tell them, here's a location where the situation is getting worse and it might get dramatically worse. Um, so I guess our hope is that some of our experiences building an early warning system will be applicable and educational. Um, I'd like to frame this in the context of a big question, which is when is it important to move beyond visualization to actual data analysis that helps us make decisions, right? Um, so uh, a visualization is often descriptive, where ideally an analysis will actually help us make a decision directly. Um, here's an example of a pin map, which is the traditional way that you map crime, for example, where you put a little pin uh, wherever the event are. So the example here is Philadelphia crimes. There's two million incidents a year, right? So if you have a historical database, it's many millions of events. Um, and it just looks like a big blob. It doesn't really tell us very much. Um, this is another visualization approach, which we've seen a lot of, which is the heat map, which is great. Um, and so here, the red is lots of crime. But what this tells us is there's certain areas that there are more incidents. There are more incidents of crime. And say, for example, in Philadelphia, we already knew that. So the goal, the idea here is that geoprocessing and statistics, if we have the data collection, will help us to identify trends before they're visible and respond to them as early as possible. Um, so I'm going to turning back to HunchLab. Um, it started as an internal research project by Robert Cheatham, who's the president of Eventia now. Um, and it's moved to this point where it's currently being funded by a National Science Foundation R&D grant. Um, so this is the round one, the first version built in uh, 1999. As the slide says, it had some limitations. Um, it was designed to be used by an expert. Um, and it was cool in a lot of ways, but we learned a lot from that and from various future versions. I want to convey some of that. So number one, it, the statistical model it used wasn't that good. Um, and it also didn't, and we also needed a model that ran very, very quickly so we can run it on many, many events. Um, we needed real-time email notification. Um, the, the responders can't turn to a tool and look at it and then return to the field. They need to be notified when there's something they should respond to. They need actionable information. And we need integration with other analysis tools so that we need the people who are on the ground to verify, is this something real or is it not real? Um, so this is HunchLab today. This is the web dashboard. So you might imagine you could come to it normally just because through the course of your day-to-day um, -day work, or you might get an email saying something you're interested in is happening. So over here are hunches. A hunch is our term for a, a particular analysis, right? So a hunch is looking for something unusual is happening that you might want to respond to. Um, uh, the intuitive idea of the word hunch is that a hunch verifies a hunch that you have. You may suspect that something's going on and a hunch will ver the, the hunch in the system will verify that your hunch is valid. Um, so here is a, uh, a search page where we are searching for narcotics crimes in a certain spatial area, the 18th district in this case. Over here are individual hunches. This is a little spark chart. So each of these little lines going left to right is a, a test, an analysis test that's running over time. And the red marks are when we've detected that there are statistically significant changes in events. So down here, there are these things that were statistically significant, but they've actually ended. And here are some new, this is a new area where events are happening. So I can actually show you this in a demo, and you'll see that the events are moving this way, right? So it helps us understand what's going on. Um, 
Here is a drill down. So then now we're returning to visualization in context. So we now know that there's some things going on. We want to see what's going on. So these little red dots are crimes. The heat map is showing us the density of those crimes. We could click on the bottom to look at historical events in that area. Um, there are other things we could look at as well. Here is another drill down chart. Um, this is, I thought I'd show this because it's a pretty heat map. Um, but what it actually is, is it's a, um, a day of, a, a time of day and day of the week chart showing when events are happening. And, the, and the, what this allows the police department to do is place um, additional resources not exactly when the crimes happen, but around when the crimes happen, because you want to prevent the crimes. Um, and here's an example of an email notification message that someone might get. And the crucial thing to see is that it's relatively simple, not that simple, but there is a link that will bring them into the system so that they can follow up and try and verify it. So moving quickly into the, some technical things, so what is a hunch? Um, so a hunch, again, is a test, right? Um, it's an analysis the system will run. You define an area, so either a particular geographic area or what we call like a mass hunch. You say, I want to run this over the entire city. But it's important to know how small or big of an area you're looking at. Um, an event category, like what kind of crime or if it was a different kind of event, what sort of event are you looking for? And the time period of analysis. So you're talking about a day, a week, a month. Um, there are two types of hunches. A threshold hunch is just looking for a certain number of events. So you want to say, OK, I'm looking for car break-ins in this area. Let me know if there are more than 10 in a day. Um, the statistical hunch is actually running a statistical method to determine whether the change in crime density is statistically significant. Um, our approaches are sort of leaping off of approaches from um, biosurveillance, the methods that are used to detect disease outbreak. Um, and I think similarly, some of these techniques could be useful in um, crisis mapping as well. Um, our particular methodology is um, using the hypergeometric distribution, which is also called Fisher's exact test. And the general idea is that the cylinder here is, a, is the geographic area we're interested in. These horizontal slices, the horizontal plane is geographic. The Z plane is time. And what we're doing is we're comparing recent crimes in an area and past crimes in an area and the distribution of those to the distribution of current and past crimes in the general area. Um, I just want to really quickly talk about um, one other approach as a sidebar, which is um, I put predictive risk surfaces, but predictive is a bad word, so disregard that, but weighted risk surfaces, where the basic idea is uh, I've been working on a tool called Decision Tree where an analyst can say, take different factors that are represented in maps, weight them based on how significant they are to risk, and then combine them into a single heat map and do it very quickly and do it in a web application. I think it's an interesting approach. Um, so I can demo Hunch Lab for you, and I'd love to talk about any of these approaches. We also have an academic paper and a white paper on the statistical methods, um, and I'd love to talk more. Um, I also, just, before I finish, just want to say that I really do believe that geographic analysis can improve and save lives in crisis and otherwise, and so it's an honor to be here. Thank you.